So bye everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Lineage OS. I'm going to walk you through the process I did to be able to install Lineage OS on my Nexus 6P and I'll give you guys a quick overview of how it looks like on this Nexus 6P. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check it out. First thing we need to do is we need to do a wipe on our system. So you go under advanced and you're gonna wipe cache, Dalvik, system, and data. Do not wipe internal storage. Once you're done with this process, go back. I'm gonna go back here. Um, and at this point, you're pretty much ready to reinstall. You can go directly, install, swipe down at the bottom. There's four files. I'll give you guys a link in the description below. The Lineage OS, it says 14.1. Obviously, since it's based on uh, CM 14.1, uh, you'll be able to download it directly from there. The mini dynamic gap, which essentially is just a small version of the gap applications. I didn't want to install everything. Super user directly downloaded from Changefire's website. This old version of Super user 2.76 is not really needed. So only really those three files. Install the operating system. Once you're done, install the dynamic gaps. And of course, if you want SuperSue, you can install it directly from there. And again, once you're done, you can go say reboot and you're pretty much set because you're in, in this situation, you're pretty much running fresh. So if you had any information on this device outside of like, let's say apps and so on, all of those are gone. But since we didn't wipe internal storage, internal storage still has all of our files and we're able to you know reboot to this. So I can go ahead and just say reboot and I'm going to say system. And here it is. Uh, pretty much looks very similar uh, to some other boot animations, but it's a little different, obviously very different than the CM one, which used to be basically just uh, the graphic of CM and then you have uh, you know, the other one on the other side. Now that it's booted up, um, I logged in one more uh, already and I wanted to show you guys that the fingerprint sensor does work and I'm able to unlock the device using the fingerprint sensor. You're also able to set a pin on this. Uh, the launcher for the most part looks pretty much like Trebuchet. Uh, if you press and hold, you have the same ability of kind of customizing the launcher here. Uh, the widget option, of course, going into wallpapers and then selecting it from there. Um, I don't have a left panel. I do have a second page here. And again, you're able to scroll through, you'll be able to kind of see which applications you have installed. I did install YouTube to be able to check out and see how the video playback on and the stereo speakers are working. Those are working fine. Uh, the radio does work. As you can see here, I'm connected to LTE. I was able to get 46 down, five megabits up. Uh, not the fastest I've gotten, but again, it's pretty good for connection on LTE. The app or the camera app has been updated. We have some more functionalities here. It does go up and it recognized the 12.2 micron, uh, mi well, 12 megapixel sensor uh, with the 1.55 micron uh, you know, capabilities here. And then what we have the ability of changing the different aspect ratio. Uh, it does have, well, let's go back here. We'll go into video and then from video, we're also able to change the selection or the resolution up to 4K for video recording. Of course, we have 1080p, 720, SD, 480, and then SIF and QVGA, all the different formats. Definitely very nice. Front-facing camera also works. Uh, the main thing you want to be aware of here is that it's really been updated, a small update, a small bump from what we had on CM14.1. If you're running CM14.1, there is currently a version to migrate uh, your data over, but you're going to be running on a beta version. It's not going to be the final version of it. Um, the best recommendation is to do it the way I did it, which essentially is resetting your entire device and starting fresh with a new version of Lineage OS on your device. Uh, works very good. Uh, hopefully you guys like this. If you're used to CM14.1, you're going to be really, really feeling very, very much at home here. Uh, the twerp application was installed as I already had twerp, but you can just update it from there. The last thing I wanted to show you guys is that by default, it does not come with root. That's something that you need to be aware of. So we do need to flash that root, uh, the uh, super sue root file that I showed you guys before. Root access by default only shows us that either it's on on ADB or disabled. I'm hoping we'll see this thing change in the future as this has just been updated. But the current version of uh, at least 14.1, if you have it on any other devices, will show that. Okay. I do have it here on my Honor 8. Um, I'll go ahead and unlock and show you guys real quick. Uh, you can go directly into settings, developer option, and uh, root by default does give us the ability to go to apps, apps and ADB. And this is something that's built into CM and known for CM for quite some time. Uh, but I guess in the new version of Lineage OS, they want to have this slightly different. It works pretty good. I've been able to use it for about a day. Uh, radio, uh, as far as you know, GPS, Wi-Fi, uh, data is working fine. Text messaging calls works fine. Um, it's pretty much an, a solid daily driver, even though it's a nightly. Uh, the one thing I want to make sure that you guys are aware of is that it looks like sRGB is on by default as the brightness doesn't seem to be on. It's like the whites only look a little bit orangey. Um, other than that, it works pretty good. I did use Twerp to be able to install this, so you need to be aware that you do need to have A, an unlocked bootloader, B, the ability to have a custom recovery to be able to flash this as you need to reset your device. Um, I also did need to flash those files that I showed you guys at the beginning. But other than that, it's a pretty much simple way to get it on and then check it out on a device. For me, luckily, the 6P wasn't something I was using as a daily driver before, but now I can actually check it out and see how it works. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As usual, thank you very much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.